Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a little bit of a look at, well, some good news. Starting with, well, we need to have a bit of a chat about these secret rares now, don't we? You see, there have been some secret rares. For some reason, I don't completely understand, though I am in no way, shape, or form complaining about this. The full arts of these Pokemon V seem to be being revealed at the same time over in Japan as the Pokemon V themselves. Don't really know why. Don't really understand it. Don't really feel like it's worth complaining about. So let's start off taking a look at the full art of Regidrago V. And I want to start here because I've had a weekend to have a think about Regidrago. Now the other day when I told you about Regidrago, I told you that this card looked positively busted and that it looked like maybe the best v-star we've seen so far and nothing has has happened since to change my mind about this i've been thinking about it all weekend and honestly my biggest problem with reggie drago v-star is that everyone's going to be playing it and that's probably going to put me off from playing it which is honestly a little bit sad. It's got the attack for two grass and one fire energy that lets you copy the attack of any dragon Pokemon in your discard pile. And remember, you don't need the requisite energy. A lot of people have been comparing this to Mew3. That is Mew2 and Mew Tag Team GX. And it, I, I see where you're coming from, but it's not the same. Now, Mew could actually copy any EX or GX, not just Dragon like Regidrago. But Mew needed the energy. Mew needed the right energy. Regidrago is always two grass, one fire, off you go. It is an absolutely ridiculous card. And the more I think about it, that V-Star power that lets you grab, basically you discard the top seven cards of your deck. And then you grab any two cards from your discard pile and put them into your hand. It's not an early game attack unless you are absolutely desperate. If it's like, I need this one card or I'm definitely going to lose, then... Yeah, by all means, do this and, you know, cross your fingers, you hit it. But really, it's late game. Discard the last seven cards of your deck or, you know, thereabouts. And then guarantee access to any two cards, whether you've played them or not. Because if you haven't played them, they'll be in your hand or in the discard from the ability. And if you have played them, they'll be in the discard. So no matter how it works, you definitely get to do it. And it's kind of perfect, honestly. It's kind of perfect. So, yeah. The more I think about this, honestly, the more I just think this is absolutely stunning and amazing and brilliant. And I think it's something we should all be getting a little bit excited about, but also a little bit worried because, yeah, um, a lot of people are going to be playing this. And the full art, kind of awesome. We've then got the other Reggie. We've got Reggie Ilecki, the full art of that one coming in here as well. And, and I like these full arts, I'll be honest with you. Maybe it's because I keep pulling them in English and in Japanese, you know, as opposed to better cards. Although I can't complain about my Japanese openings, they have been nuts lately. But I will tell you that, you know, it, it, they're just cool. I really like the design of them lately. I think they're doing a very good job. Reggie Lecky, of course, is not quite the same as we've seen from some others. It's not quite on the level of, like, Reggie Drago. But it's still extremely cool. You've got the V, which has a really nice attack, does 100 damage for free energy, and then takes 100 less the following turn, which is clearly pretty cool. But then we've also got the V Max, that means all of your lightning basic Pokemon do 30 more to your opponent's active, and you can add that all together in a way which is really rather lovely indeed. I don't like it as much as I like Dredge Drago, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. But I do think this is really very, very cool indeed. And then we can finish off, well, at least this part of the video, having a little bit of a look at Full Art Omastar. I showed you Omastar over the weekend. The Full Art of Omastar has been shown off as well. And again, I just they're really nice, clean designs. I don't think they're as good as the Special Arts. I don't think anyone's really going to think that. But I think the full arts lately have just been really nice, clean designs, and it's really cool. Don't forget, we've already seen the full arts of Lugia and Unknown, and Unknown looks especially clean and lovely. So that's rather nice. So we've seen a bunch of full arts already. We've seen five of them, and it says not even, even out for three weeks. Remember, it officially reveals or releases on the 21st of October. So yay! That's going to be fun. 
So yeah, Armistar, I mean Armistar, like I say, it's it, it, it's fine, it's really happened out with those fossil Pokemon. It's got single colorless energy, search for two Pokemon that evolve from item cards that have fossil in their name and put them onto your bench. Basically, rather than restoring them from a fossil, you just play them like this. But I worry that you're going to use that and then give up two prizes because you've only got 190 HP. And then you've got Water Double Colorless 110. If the defending Pokemon is an evolution, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Although then you've got to bear in mind that they can just retreat out of it. Either way, it is very, very interesting. So yeah, three new full arts. That's rather lovely. But I did tell you the other day that the Pokemon trading card game is coming to China. And that's mainland China, not Hong Kong and Taiwan, where it's been for a while. And we do have confirmation that it is, in fact, coming to China. We did finally have that live stream that I told you about. Also, I need to give a massive shout out here to the lovely Antoine Boulet for providing the translations that we just used. And to the lovely Primal Lugia who has helped us out with some of the information about the Chinese release. They are two of my very, very favorite people in the Pokemon community. They are both, and I can say this with absolute certainty, absolutely thoroughly lovely, wonderful, brilliant people. And I will happily say that as, as often and as much as is needed. They are fantastic. So yeah, what's going on with a Chinese release? Now it has been confirmed that it is going to be in simplified Chinese rather than traditional. Remember we have for a while been seeing the release of traditional Chinese over in Hong Kong and Taiwan. That is not the case here. This is simplified Chinese which is used on mainland China. There are actually going to be two different booster boxes available. So you're going to be able to get 25 card booster packs. And you're going to be able to get 5 card booster packs. And I actually really, really, really like this. Interestingly enough, the 25 card booster pack is exactly 5 times as expensive as a 5 card booster pack. Which is just kind of awesome, honestly. The lovely Primal Lugia is telling us that there is a holo guaranteed in the five card pack, or at least it seems to be. So I would imagine, and I've not had this confirmed, so take this with a pinch of salt, but I would imagine that the 25 card boosters are literally just five of the five card boosters mashed together. So that would then mean that we would basically see five hollows in there. Now it's also worth bearing in mind, as you may have noticed from some of the key art I've shown you so far, we are in the Sun and Moon era. You know, we can see Sylveon GX, Charizard GX, Rayquaza GX. We are full on in the Sun and Moon era. Now, this is where I need to go back and point out I was wrong. I point out when I'm right. And I'm trying to make a point of pointing out where I'm wrong. Now, my prediction basically was that they wouldn't go back immediately because we saw they'd had some trademarks filed for sun and moon over in china and my theory was that they weren't gonna just immediately go to sun and moon because it would make more sense to try and catch up on sword and shield first not what they're doing ladies and gentlemen not what they're doing at all what they're actually doing instead is they are starting with sun and moon and they're probably going to catch up pretty gosh darn quickly remember it took about 18 months for hong kong and taiwan to catch up with japan they actually finally caught up with shiny star v that was a set where they finally caught up so yeah this is it's quite an aggressive strategy and they're probably gonna be catching up pretty gosh darn quickly but I kind of like this, honestly. And I really like the way they're going about it. And as I explained in my previous video, growing the Pokemon TCG into another territory isn't a bad thing. And if it's one of the biggest territories in the world, this is a very, very good thing because it's great for the health of the game moving forward. So yeah, th th this is pretty gosh darn cool, honestly. I am a big fan of this move. Now, there is also a GX starter set, and I'm not sure if it's just in this or elsewhere, but there is a phenomenal reverse holo pattern you can see on this Natu here, which is, it's kind of similar to one we've seen in English with the energy symbols, but the one big energy symbol in the middle with the rest around, this is not the same as we've had. So that is another thing to look out for, especially if you're a collector of weirder cards. So yeah, this is happening, this is real, 
And this is a very, 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 very big deal. The fact that this is coming out in China is a very, very big deal indeed, because this is growing the game into a huge market, and this is just great moving forward, and I am such a big fan of this, I really am. I think this is a good thing, and I hope this works. And I hope we now just have another country where the Pokemon TCG takes hold, where there's a bunch of awesome fans, where we can then move forward and just be happy about this. Because honestly, ladies and gentlemen, that would be awesome. All right. That's what you need to know. There are those new lovely full arts. There are those news about the game coming to China. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me which of these cars you're excited for. Are you going to be picking up any of the Chinese ones? Are you happy this coming to China? Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, where I answer all of your questions, join a Discord to chat with us, and get shoutouts like the lovely Faye K, who has just become one of our newer patrons just over the weekend, and is, it seems at least, a very lovely person indeed. So thank you for the support, and thank you for being a lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.